Hey y'all, I'm Katie Jacobs with StylingMyEveryday.com. I can't wait to show you a strawberry shortcake recipe you're gonna love this summer. Start with just two cups of flour, a cup of sugar, salt, and a little bit of baking soda. will help it rise just enough. So you wanna whisk all that together. And then we're gonna just work some room temperature butter into that to make the dough. Now that we've put the butter in, you can totally use your hands to break up the butter into the flour. I like to use a pastry cutter, that way I don't have to worry about it. So we're just working the butter into the flour sugar mixture until it reaches a crumbly, kind of like a gravel. Now we're gonna make a well in the center and just add two lightly beaten eggs. So we're just slowly folding the eggs just until you reach the consistency of a dough. And this where the little bits of butter that you see in, that's what makes the flaky shortbread. And you know you're there, you can reach in and kind of push it together, and you can see the dough kind of sticks together. Now we're just gonna take a cake pan, and you can just dump this mixture right in. That's the easy part. We're just gonna press all this into the pan, and then this goes in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Now the shortbread's just out of the oven. You wanna make sure that it's completely cool before you start assembling your shortcake. But I always like to double the recipe and make two because we're gonna stack them. Just go ahead and double the recipe and you'll make a bigger cake. Now we've made a fresh batch of whipped cream. It's just heavy whipping cream, a little bit of confectioner sugar, and a little bit of vanilla to sweeten it up. We're gonna put half of it on your first layer of strawberry shortcake. Just slice strawberries. You don't need to sweeten them or anything. And then we're gonna layer the second cake. And then we're gonna finish with more whipped cream and more strawberries. And then for a fun summertime addition, maybe for the 4th of July, add some blueberries too. For a little extra garnish, add some mint on top, fresh mint leaves straight from the garden. And there we go. We've got a beautiful shortcake ready for any summer party.